What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Leo Shepard and today we're going to be talking about KT tape. KT tape is uh, adhesive strips typically used um, for athletes, um, but uh, they can also be used for binding. Binding with KT tape typically works more for smaller chest, which is um, A to B cup. So um, KT tape has some benefits to it that um, are a little better than binding. So it doesn't uh, compress your chest fully um, and it takes a lot of the pressure off your spine. Uh, so there's two main types um, of KT tape to bind with. There's trans tape, which is the typical uh, staple brand for um, binding. Um, and then there's the regular athletic type that you would purchase at a drugstore like CVS. So I took four strips of KT tape and cut them in half. Um, I also have two cotton pads and two band-aids. Um, usually these are pretty interchangeable. These will go over the nipples to keep the sensitive area off of the adhesive. With KT tape, usually you start by putting the first strip over your nipple and pulling across to your chest. The second strip goes under the first piece, the third strip goes over the first piece, and the fourth strip is the anchor. The first step is um, making sure your nipple and the sensitive part of your areola is covered with cotton, a piece of tissue, toilet paper, or a band-aid. This will help it from getting tugged on with the adhesive from the KT tape. Uh, some people find that laying down helps them apply the KT tape, but today I'll be doing it standing up. Um, so when you take the first piece, you're going to secure it over the cotton pad um, and your nipple. Attach it to the skin and pull across the chest until you reach under your armpit. Then you're going to secure that piece and rub it so the adhesive sticks. Then you're going to take the second piece and you're going to place it directly under the first piece, making sure to overlap slightly with the first piece and you're going to go with the same motion you did before, securing it onto the skin and pulling all the way back to the armpit and then rubbing the tape to make it stick. Then you're gonna take the third piece and anchor it over the top piece, overlapping slightly again. Pull back with the same motion all the way to the armpit and secure. With the anchor, you're going to take your last piece of KT tape for this side. It helps to have your arm raised and you're going to place the beginning of the KT tape right above your last strip and stretch all the way down so it covers each strip equally then you're going to rub so the tape sticks. So there are cautions with KT tape, just like with binding or any other methods of binding. So you want to make sure you don't feel any excessive strain in the center of your chest. The KT tape will feel tight, there will be pressure, but it shouldn't feel like an excessive, it shouldn't hurt to move around, um, and there shouldn't be any blistering. Uh, once the KT tape is on, you will notice some bulging around the armpit and the pec muscle. That's completely okay, it's going to happen, and uh, that part shouldn't be completely flat. Um, as long as, you know, it's comfortable and um, it doesn't hurt. With removal, this is um, one of the hardest parts because you can uh, damage your skin, there can be some blistering and scarring. You don't want to rip it off super fast like a band-aid, you want to go very slow. Um, it helps to do it in the shower um, with some soap or baby oil gently peeling away at the tape. 
Um, there will be some marks, some red marks uh, left by the adhesive, uh, but it should go away overnight. I have noticed with the brand Trans Tape that um, there's more blistering and more scarring after you take off the tape. So with a drugstore brand that I use, it doesn't typically last as long, but it doesn't hurt as much to take off. So uh, thanks guys for watching. I hope you liked this tutorial of KT Tape. If you want to see more, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check out my social media, and uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>